Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of June 16th. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing with others and for all the thumbs up on the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is truly appreciated. All right, the first card out. Oh, look at that, the sun. That's beautiful. Pleasure, happiness. You feel a vitality again and feeling inspired with life this week. You know, you're relishing in the moments, you're enjoying yourself, your health is starting to return and you're feeling more optimistic about life. You know, you're coming out of the shadows and boy, when you do, you know, everybody notices because you just light everything up around you. Oh, and the eight of rods. Yeah, something's speeding, something's, you've taken action and, and something's changed very quickly. You have a um, momentum change. Like things are starting to move a lot faster than what you had anticipated. Now, this could be air travel for some of you as well, like unexpected uh, trip going forward. You know, something that is going to be over and done before you know it, but it's going to be a you know whirlwind in your head. Like, wow, I, that was, we had a really good time. You know, one of those go-arounds. And the High Priestess. Definitely have a lot of knowledge here. And you're in touch with that. You know, you're trusting yourself that your instincts are on power. You know, you, you, you have such a bright look on life this week. And you're feeling like um, there is unlimited potential out there for you going forward with life and your choices and, and where you're at. So that is beautiful. And you've learned from others, you know. You're not silly. You're very, you watch and you learn. You're very skilled at doing that. And I don't think people realize about you about that. And the Ten of Swords. Okay, there's something that had come to a painful ending and it left its marks on you. Something, Somebody betrayed you, you know. And... It didn't make you feel good, but it wasn't fatal. Though at the time, I'm sure it felt like, wow, you know, but you're realizing that you're okay. You know, it left its mark, but it's taught you a lot. And now you're moving yourself forward. So you're getting out of difficult situations in all areas of your life because you know it's time now for you to start to live again. And the Three of Cups. Yeah, there's celebrations here. New friendships for some of you. Getting together with old friends in, in some cases. But you're just feeling like the world's your oyster. And that's your celebration. Now, this invitation that you're going to receive to go to this, it's going to not only make you happy, but it's going to give you back that spark in yourself again so this celebration that's coming at you is going to be one that makes you very fulfilled and the wheel of fortune look at that good luck Ooh, i like it this is a cycle in life of change this could be um a big career break for many of you you know which gives you more money and brings you up in the standards of life a little bit you know, all that is wonderful things. This could be actually be a, um, a windfall for some of you. It's like maybe you, you know, bought that lottery ticket and you find out that, hey, you know, it's worth something and, and I can have something I've always wanted. So you're very much into celebrating this week and the universe is helping you move along. Like it's just opened you up tenfold. And the moon card. All right. Yeah, you've had a lot of dreams and, and some cases you've had a little bit of anxiety about different things, but you're really learning to relax more. 
you know, you're cutting out um, outside influences on you so much. And you're taking care of your health and yourself. So you're following your own intuition on what it is you need in your life. You know, you're avoiding overeating, over drinking, you know, using uh, substances of whatever kind. But you're taking care of yourself now because there's something that you are pinpointing that you want in your life and now you're on the path and there's not going to be anything take you off that, which, you know, changes a lot of people's moods around you. But that's their loss, not yours. If they can't get on the same bandwagon and cheer you on, then maybe it's better that they are on the sides. And the Four of Pentacles. Look at you go. You're saving money. You're feeling more secure. You're in control. And you feel good about being in that position that now you can make your own decisions without, you know, the universe keep, you know hammering you down all the time you're actually starting to feel that you can open up a little bit and you'll be okay and the hangman look at that yeah you're letting go and it's making you feel so much better on the inside it's like a lights come on and a lot of difficult problems in your past are now going away and you're unsticking yourself you're starting to move with different things in your life again you're starting to believe that you can have things again so you're changing your whole perspective and once you do that there is no more backsliding for you you won't ever get in that state of mind again and the seven of pentacles look at that you're looking into long-term view you know you put lots of hard work in you know, when you decide to do something, you give it your all until it's done. So, you know, and, and this is investments for some of you. And you know that it's going to take a bit, but you're willing to wait because you know it will prosper in the future. So you're patiently waiting for this to show you. And the Knight of Pentacles. Look at you. Hard work. Definitely, you stick to routines. You're very hardworking. Like I said, you know, this is you giving yourself the permission to enjoy life just a little bit because this could be a trip for some of you. And it doesn't have to be across the world. This could be going camping for the weekend. You know, you're just taking a time for yourself to enjoy the fruits of your labor because you're seeds are all planted now you're just waiting for things to start to show you you know the bounty coming back and in the meantime you're going to relax and enjoy life a little bit and the chariot look at you you're healing yourself moving forward you know you're making progress and you feel it you know and this moving forward for yourself gives you um the courage to keep taking those next steps like this is your victory lap you know you're on you're on the home stretch now you're taking time out for yourself to enjoy life a little bit you know if you're taking you know side trips just to smell the roses you know it doesn't matter but you're really starting to take charge of your life you're getting out of dead-end situations or feeling stuck all the time that you can't do it and you know moving forward and I really like that and look at that yeah you know your your conflict and disagreements are you're letting go of you know you know they're not worth your your energy anymore you know, there's been a lot of push and shove. In some cases, there's been people literally taking from you and not giving back and, and almost like bullying you into different situations. And, you know, and this can be in relationships as well that you felt that, you know, people were taking advantage. And now you're realizing that if they don't want to be nice and fight fair, then I'm done with this. So, you know, if these are relationships, you're definitely keeping more to yourself you're not sharing as much anymore because it doesn't matter if anybody else knows anything about you because you're comfortable 
with who you are. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card. But yours are all about, you know, coming back around, enjoying life again, and having celebrations and enjoying yourself and not feeling guilty or in lack of. <laughs> you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon the angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. That is beautiful. And I'm going to draw you a Doreen Virtue fairy card. All right. Change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your equalities, a temporary pause in the action. So just take a time out before you make that next step but you're awakening to your own and on that note i will say goodbye for now don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you again next week bye for now